I'm sure there's a way we could film this where it looks a lot bigger. Yeah. Uh, Hold it way up. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's Greg here with Outdoors on the Cheap, and I'm back in the middle of nowhere today fishing for white perch with my friend Gary. And uh, we we just got here, we just drilled a couple holes, a lot of snow on the lake, but uh, pretty good ice. We got about seven inches of ice, maybe eight. Uh, good conditions, a lot of slush, but pretty safe. So uh, let's go see what Gary's doing here. He's got the fish finder here and uh, says there's a few fish kicking around. All right, Gary, so uh, <laughs> you say you've got this nice, uh, what's the setup here? This uh, this is a Helix 7. Helix 7. And you got... Uh, here's a fish coming right up to look at my bait right now. You see a fish coming along? And he's going to ignore it just like the other ones did. <laughs> and what do you, what do you, what do you got on a... I got a brand new to me lure called a scissor kick that looked really good, whether or not it's going to produce scissor kick. And a little bit of shrimp or what are these? This uh... one has a little bit of shrimp on it. What's the other bait you're using? He was Wax showing... worms. Wax worms is this food you get for, they feed them to... They're right on it. Where do they feed them to? It's something I don't you buy, know. buy them at a pet store, they feed them to something, lizards or fish or I don't know what, but they look like maggots. Yeah. Um, and they're a good Reasonably bait for fish. sure he's really friggin' tiny. Could be a, would it pick up a minnow? Yeah. Would we sense it enough for that? Yeah, he's right on it right now, and there's one underneath. Oh, I can see the line. Yeah, so here, I'll show you what he's looking at. He's looking at this readout here. And he's gone. <laughs> and the line, the green at the bottom is the bottom, and the line above the green is his lure relative, you know, relative to the bottom. He's bouncing it off the bottom there. You can see that. Trying to create a disturbance, trying to attract the attention of the fish. Working great. They just won't bite. I haven't got any of that gear. I'm just got a hole over there. Um, but uh, sometimes it's best not to know. <laughs> well, I'm also just uh, resigned from cameraman a little bit today, so hopefully Gary can be the star of the show. Although I would really hope I can catch a good meal. But uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll bring you back when uh, we something. actually have something to show. We had a heck of a hike in here. It's a good kilometer through really rough woods. Uh, we had to wear the snowshoes and uh, bring our sleds and uh, yeah, good exercise for sure. And now we're up for a few hours of fishing and see what kind of damage we can do. All right, so I got something on here. A little, very, very small. This is a white perch, but this is really not what we're after, a little bit small. <laughs> Let this guy go. Hopefully we can catch another one. I caught it on a just simple cast master. Same thing I got the chain pickerel on, and it's a huge lure. I don't know why a little guy like this would go after someone like that. Anyway, I gotta let this guy off. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, it's got a little shovel rod holder set up here. Uh, for those of you that never ice fished before, uh, when the lake's covered in snow like this, right, it, it adds weight above the ice. So when you drill through the ice with your auger, the water comes right up through, right? You can see we've got water here. It's about, I don't know, about an inch deep, right? You get enough snow on top of the ice, it'll actually shoot up out a little bit. But that's not the case today. But it's definitely pretty... So, for most parts of the lake, there's no slush. You're just walking on snow over ice. Except for a wet spot right over there. You can see it's darkening. Um, but for here, this was dry. Like the ice, if you move the snow back. Oh, I guess there is a bit of slush. <laughs> I guess I'm wrong, a little bit of slush there. Um, anyway, you can't really, you know when you're walking on a slushy lake, it's a very unnerving feeling. You don't get that feeling on this lake today. But this snowy part, you can see over there, there's a bit more shine. So there's some ice over there, bare ice. The snow's been blown off. And over here, we get all this snow about eight inches of snow on the lake uh, which isn't bad when you consider how much snow we've had lately here uh, but anyway yeah she's kind of soupy on top of the ice but we got a good oh i'd say seven eight inches of ice there so still safe even though it looks looks unsafe <laughs> to the uh inexperienced uh ice angler well <laughs> he got a sucker <laughs> First one I've ever got through the ice. I know other people who've got I thought them. we had a big one on because it took drag. <laughs> 12 inch sucker. Well, so, what up? are you going to be eating that with? Uh, 
some uh, blueberry trout. Some people yeah. say they're good. I'm not <laughs> no, going to be eating no. it, though. I'm going to take a picture of it. Oh, that's crazy. Get up close. <laughs> well, I got some suckers in the lake. Well, I mean, we've been fishing for over an hour, and uh, Gary's Garmin says there's fish around. We've each caught one tiny white perch, and he just <laughs> got into this sucker here. I guess if we were starving, we'd have a meal. Um, but... <laughs> Um, he says he's got all kinds of fish around his lure on this Garmin, but nothing's really taken. And we're messing around trying different different baits and different things. I've got a dropper loop and a fly on mine. And uh, just nothing uh, happening here. I was a couple of weeks ago with my son. He caught a nice, he caught a white perch about the size of that sucker. Oh, two on the screen right yeah, now. There's two there right now. Two or three, four. Anyway, it still beats... Uh, Going to work. <laughs> well, Gary has achieved the trifecta. A yellow perch. That is, well, it's four inches long, but I'm sure there's a way we could film this where it looks a lot bigger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hold it way out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's a Maybe white perch, a yellow perch, and a sucker, but uh, not what we're after. <laughs> I'll take a big yellow. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you.